Our scene contains a terrain object and sculpted addition to the terrain. We have player object which is in fact empty game object, but it has capsule child. We create new script file for this object that is going to encode basic movement of the player. So let's create player hover script. We create the maximum speed for our player and set the initial value to 10. In update method, we create two float variable that give us horizontal and vertical input. Input.getAxis returns the value of the virtual axis identified by axis name. The value will be in the range minus 1 and 1 for keyboard and joystick input devices. Now we create a vector 3 and name it new pose and set it to our player position by default. We add new pose with transform.forward which is returns the direction the transform is facing. And multiply by our horizontal input and back speed. And don't forget to multiply by time.delta time. Do the same with vertical axis. Finally we add the value of new pose to the object. We can move forward and back and move left and right. Of course notice right now doesn't take count terrain at all. That's absolutely fine we just want to get a basic movement and we have it. But still need move on and actually make this object conform to the terrain. I want his object to be vertically offset from the terrain by specified distance. So we going to use physics raycast to shoot out a ray from this capsule here. We create a new variable to determine the desired distance to the ground. Save the value to raycast hit, we call it hit. Throw ray from position of our capsule to down direction and save all information in hit that we created. Adjust Y axis the player object. I'm using new pose that we created previously. We get the position where the ray hit the collider. With hit dot point and added a vector 3 up and multiply by distance from round. Now our capsule raises and lowers to match with ground. We are casting a ray downwards from this capsule object. Down into the terrain this will intersect terrain at a point and will intersect at a face. And each of the faces in terrain have own normal that is a vector which is direction of the polygon is facing. And that normal polygon will determining orientation of this object. Create new variable for speed of angle. And a new vector 3 that store normal vector of that polygon. Vector3.slurp interpolates between A and B by amount E.
Now orientation of this object changing.